hey guys welcome back to my tent today we are going to learn about the anatomy of the lumbar plexus if you are new here make sure to subscribe and watch our complete anatomy videos so i am going to teach lumbar plexus in a very simple way lumbar plexus is formed by the t12 to l4 spinal segments so basically we have the t12 segment then we have the l1 l2 l3 and l4 and l5 this L5 is not included in the lumbar plexus. I have written it down so you, for a better understanding. So basically what happens? T12 will give a branch and this is called as the subcostal nerve. This is called as the subcostal nerve. And it derives this branch from the T12 spinal segment. And then from L1 we have two branches. They are the iliohypogastric nerve, iliohypogastric nerve, and then we have the ilioinguinal nerve. They both derive branch from the L1 spinal segment. And then what what we have? We have another nerve and that is called as the genitofemoral nerve and this genitofemoral nerve will receive its branch from the L1 as well as the L2 spinal segment. So if you draw the this L1 spinal segment will also combine with the L2 spinal segment and that will give rise to the genitofemoral nerve. Genitofemoral nerve and this derives its branch from the L1 plus L2 spinal segment both the L, this is the L1 segment and this is the L2 segment and they form the genitofemoral nerve receiving both from the L1 and the L2 segment and then the next nerve we have is the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh and it receives its branches from the L2 and the L3 so L2 and the L3 will form the which branch that is the lateral lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh so this lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh will include L2 plus L3 spinal segment and what we have in the next nerve the next nerve is a femoral nerve and it receives its root value from the L2 L3 as well as the L4 so this is the femoral nerve it receives a branch from the L2 a branch from the L3 as well as a branch from the L4 and these all will form the femoral nerve femoral nerve branch from the L2, L3 as well as the L4 and also we have another nerve that is called as the obturator nerve. This obturator nerve will also receive the branches from the L2, L3 and the L4 same like the femoral nerve and then that is the obturator nerve same it receives the branch from the L2, L3 and the L4 spinal segments. We also have another nerve that is called as the accessory obturator nerve. This accessory obturator nerve will receive branches from the L3 and the L4 only. So only L3 and the L4 that will form the accessory obturator nerve which is not present in many of them. Accessory obturator nerve and branches switch from the L3 and the L4 only. And also we have the L4 and the L5 and they will include they will combine to form the lumbosacral trunk lumbosacral trunk sorry it's not visible in the video so I'm just telling L4 and the L5 will combine to form the lumbosacral trunk so this is about summary of the lumbar plexus it includes T12 to L4 spinal segments and we have the subcostal nerve deriving its branch only from the T12 then we have the iliohypogastric nerve and the ilioinguinal nerve both are from the L1 spinal segment then we have the genitofemoral nerve which has the root value from the L1 as well as the L2 then we have the lateral cutaneous nerve of the eye it derives branch from the L2 and the L3 then we have the femoral nerve and the obturator nerve and they derive the root value from the L2, L3 and the L4 both of them then we have accessory obturator nerve which is not present in many of the individuals and they derive their branches from the L3 and the L4 and finally L4 and L5 will combine to form the lumbosacral trunk so this is about the short lecture about the lumbar, uh, lumbar plexus i'll uh, now show you all uh, different branches and root value in the separate 
uh, video please stick to the video to the end so just revising about the branches of the lumbar plexus and also we look at the root value of each one of them so what are the different branches we have we have the iliohypogastric nerve then we have the ilioinguinal nerve and then we have the genitofemoral nerve the fourth one we have is the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh the fifth one we have is the femoral nerve and then we have the obturator nerve and finally we have the accessory obturator nerve these are the different branches of the lumbar plexus the iliohypogastric nerve ilioinguinal nerve genitofemoral nerve lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh femoral nerve obturator nerve and the accessory obturator nerve now i have discussed about the root value so we both know that iliohypogastric and the ilioinguinal their root value is of the l1 then the, about the genitofemoral nerve it is l1 and l2 and which branches the ventral divisions only ventral divisions of the l1 and l2 then we have the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and it derives its branch from the L2 and the L3 which divisions that is the dorsal divisions not the ventral dorsal divisions of the L2 and the L3 then we have the femoral nerve and the obturator nerve and both are deriving from the L3, L2, L3 as well as the L4 right L2, L3 and the L4 but the femoral nerve is of the dorsal divisions and obturator nerve is of the ventral divisions of the nerve and finally we have the accessory obturator nerve and it derives its branch from the l3 and the l4 root value and these are the ventral divisions so this is important to know which division they are supposed to be there so this is about the short introduction and uh, anatomy of the lumbar plexus if you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also share it among your friends thank you so much